In this video, what we're going to try to do is figure out how long it would take to travel from the Earth, which is orbiting the Sun, to our nearest stellar companion, a star known as Alpha Centauri. Now, we know that the distance between the Sun and Alpha Centauri is 4.1 light years. Now, to calculate the distance, we're going to assume the speed that one of the fastest human-made objects is traveling, a spacecraft known as the Voyager spacecraft. And it's traveling at a constant velocity of about 5 times 10 to the 8th kilometers per year. Now to make our calculations, we're going to have a few assumptions. One of our assumptions is going to be that this Voyager spacecraft is traveling in a straight line towards Alpha Centauri. Now, in fact, we know that this is not actually the case. We're just using this as a hypothetical to calculate the time it would take to travel to the nearest star if we were so inclined to travel to it. Now the second assumption that we're going to make, so we're going to assume that the Voyager is traveling with constant velocity. Now for this calculation to actually be accurate, we need to make both assumptions. We need to make one assumption saying it's traveling in a straight line towards Alpha Centauri, and we need to assume that it's traveling with constant velocity for this calculation to be actually valid. Now the first thing that we're going to do is take a look at the Voyager spacecraft's velocity in units of meters per year. So we said that the velocity of the Voyager spacecraft was 5 times 10 to the 8th kilometers per year. Let's make a simple conversion and just convert this unit of kilometers over to units of meters. To do that, remember that one kilometer is equal to 1,000 or 10 to the third meters. Now notice that this unit of kilometer cancels out with this unit of kilometer, and we get a velocity of, and we get a velocity of five times 10 to the 11th meters per year. Notice that this velocity is still expressed in units of distance per time, but in this case, it's going to be a time interval of one year. So the Voyager spacecraft can be thought of as traveling 5 times 10 to the 11th meters every single year. Now the next step is to determine the distance between our Sun and Alpha Centauri in units of meters. So if you remember, Alpha Centauri was 4.1 light years away from the sun. Now, in a previous video, we figured out that one light year is equal to exactly 9.46 times 10 to the 15th meters. So, to figure out the distance between our star, the sun, and Alpha Centauri, we need to know that one light year is defined to be 9.46 times 10 to the 15th meters. Recall again that one light year is the distance that light travels in one year. Notice this. Notice this unit of light year cancels out with this unit of light year. And when you do this multiplication out, what you should get is that the distance between the Sun and Alpha Centauri is 3.9 times 10 to the 16th meters. Notice this also. We're using a unit of velocity of meters per year and a distance of meters. So we're using the same units of length or distance. Now, we made an assumption. We assumed that the velocity of the Voyager spacecraft was constant. So we can rely on this formula that says velocity equals distance divided by time. If we did not assume that the velocity was constant, this formula or relationship would not be valid. Now what you can do is you can multiply both sides by time to isolate the variable. And when you do that, what you should see is this unit cancels out with this unit, and now we get an equation that says that time times velocity equals distance. But what we're looking for is this unit of time. So the next step is to divide both sides by velocity. And when you do that, what you should see is that this unit of velocity cancels out with this unit of velocity. And our new relationship to find the time it would take to travel to Alpha Centauri is going to be the distance between our Sun and Alpha Centauri and the velocity that Voyager spacecraft is traveling at. Now we figured out that the distance between the Sun and Alpha Centauri is about 3.9 times 10 to the 16th meters. And we also know that the velocity of the Voyager spacecraft is 5 times 10 to the 11th meters per year. Again, notice that the unit of distance 
in this case meters, is equivalent to this unit of distance, which is meters. So we can make this cancellation. Now when we do this division out, the time that we get is 77,572 years. So this is the time, assuming that we were traveling in a straight line path to Alpha Centauri at constant velocity. So this is the time required to travel between the Sun and Alpha Centauri expressed in Earth years.